everybody. I got um, this message from Lai to me today. Um, he lives in Glasgow and he says, I live next to an old castle, Sanfu, the only one in Glasgow. It was made of wood and then sandstone. It is called Crook Castle in Southside Glasgow. Its real name, as I know it, was Crookston Castle. Lol. They changed it to Croc. And then I didn't uh, go on to that one for the added bit on this video. Um, so, of course, I wrote back to him and I said, well, do you want me to look into it then? He goes, oh, that would be brilliant. Apparently, this castle was attacked by that big cannon from Edinburgh Castle, Mons Meg, but I don't believe a word they tell us. So we just have to wait because I do actually show you. Oh, here we come. Um... Uh, watched a vid, sure it was on your channel, showing that most of these cannons just break and don't work. Um, I don't know if that was my channel, but we've started to... It was maybe the Thirst, th Thirst Castle? Uh, the other one... Oh no, that one's not out yet, is it? Or maybe it's me. Um, I don't know. But anyway, what he asked me to do was... He asked me to look a bit into Crookston Castle. Um, that obviously was another tower and the shape of it the whole thing gatehouse you know it reminded me of this one okay on this one the, the towers are round not square but you can go underneath there are rooms underneath this castle and the castle, really, honestly, I promise you, is very, very small. If you put two houses in there, that would be it, really, probably. Two houses, maybe two and a half houses. Yeah, it's taller. It's got more floors. But it's not as big as you think it is. Gary and James will tell you it isn't. But anyway, do you see the shape of that? That's a gatehouse. And maybe most of that castle wasn't really what was on the top. Maybe it's all underground because in this one you can actually see that at the front that's where you go down under, underneath. Anyway, so there you go, oh, which we'll, we, we'll come to it. And how do we know what was on the tops of these um, towers? I mean, most of the time they take them off. They've taken a lot off Buckingham Palace. You know, all the statues and things so that we won't realise how magnificent we were and that it's impossible that we could have built it all so we've got to make it medieval and dark ages and everything like that As I'm not sure if I've said it yet or not but this is the only medieval castle in Glasgow but I think what it was is medieval was Roman Empire and then they seem to overthrow the Roman Empire. That would be amazing right now. And um, so it became the Dark Ages. It doesn't really mean it was the Dark Ages. It just means a time without the Roman Empire. Um, anyway, so it's missing the tower. It's missing the tower. So it would have had a tower up. So that is a gatehouse. The only difference is it's turrets are square, whereas Donington they're round and in Donington I know it goes down and you see that bit there well we will see it at some point in this video we'll go back to that anyway a few pictures with some history if you want to understand what they're telling you more about this castle there it is see you go down oh, anyway yeah stop the, the video and read the words look at that I think we go back to it um Someone else that was very important that stayed here was Mary, Queen of Scots, by the way. She married the person who owned the land and owned the castle. Um, look at the doorways. Look at all those lips down. Like, that's rebuilt, 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 rebuilt. What is that, a cell? Look how small the door is, though. Wow. Anyway, more history on Crookston Castle. And I also look at a few others that are in here. So, Mary, Queen of Scots, married into this. She stayed there. 
In one of the articles, it said that she watched one of the battles from here. Who knows? But maybe after all, maybe it's not on top that's the most important part. Maybe it's what's underneath the castle. We already know they've built down. I already know there's rooms under Donington. You can see through the gatehouse wall the stairs going downstairs. You can see this you can see the, the door where it goes downstairs. And it's black. Because it's a stairway. There it is. That's where you go down. Underneath. I think. That's what it looks like to me. Or was that another tower? That's on a different level. That looks like it goes underneath. Anyway. A little bit of information. Oh, this is somewhere else. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I think this is a different castle, this one, because I just saw it and I thought, oh. Tower again. They had many, many towers. And look at that. That's got the arch in it. The same. Not sure if this is Crookston, around Crookston Castle. Oh, what's this one? Um, I think there's a different castle that just interested me. So I took some pictures of it. The tower. There it is, it's Thrive Castle, or oh, however you say that. Anyway, I took this picture as well. These towers, another castle, obviously it's underneath. Stanley Castle, not sure, obviously, probably all underneath. Drawing of Crookston Castle. So, it's medieval. Um, old pictures of it there. It's, um... Mary Queen of Scots stayed there. Look at that. What came first, the house or the land? Yeah, or did it have a top like this one here? Originally, like that, because they've taken the top off. So this explains the Middle Ages. And then I'm sure in there it's going to say what the next to it will be the Dark Ages, and actually it was just the Roman Empire going. There you go one there and then this building came along I thought wow what an interesting shape that one is I've got nothing on the tops again and then our melted reality our melted reality look we want time let's go I'm not sure if I go back do I go back no we're gonna go back to it where are we there we are we all want timelines don't we we want to know how old these things are. This says brick house is believed to have been built in 1725. It's got red brick. So as they're already building them, it's got to have been in the 1600s they had brick. And that, you know, uh, Mary Queen of Scot, I mean, sorry, Elizabeth I was sort of towards the end of the 1500s. Do you see what I mean? This is maybe you know, houses like this in the 1600s have been built like this. I just think that there was a totally different thing going on than what they say. But it always goes back to Elizabeth I. I think something really humongous happened then. Maybe that's what nearly ended the world. I don't know. As we knew it and this antiquity, intact, can't say it. You know which word I'm meaning. Um, maybe that was all, anyway. This house was built in 1725. That's what that's saying. I can't prove it, but that's what it says. But, you know, I know that, you know, I've been obviously keeping up with our melted reality and all the melted brick. But um, we want to know older anyway. And then castles seem to be more like this, where Marie Wheatley would say that they have a mound in front. And that's what it is. Obviously, Silver Hill is a pyramid, but these are mounds. And I'd say, well, they all look like pyramids to me. Smaller pyramids, like the Step Pyramid in Marlborough College. Oops, we've gone back. <laughs> oh, it's such fun making a video. Ah, oh, I've gone back to the red brick. Uh, 
that's amazing 1725 Ah, oh, melted reality. Do you see that? Do you see that? What a date there, 1725. Like, that's got to have been, you know, houses like that have got to have been in the 1600s as well. Oh, do we like to find it? But, you know, you can't prove it, but that's a good, yeah. I was really pleased when I saw those words. And it looks quite nicely made, doesn't it? So, and again, it's another house with a roof missing. Whenever you find these places, always the roofs have gone, but the walls stay. These things were built to stay. Anyway, one of these is, um, I'm not sure where that one is actually. Now I've got the picture up. Um, that one is Totnes, Tot, Totnes Castle. Again, that could be like a Merlin's Mound. That one is Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle, that's what it used to look like. And then the other bit is that people were living next to this castle. There's a house there and people were living there right on top of the castle and you can see that the castle wasn't well maintained, you know, it's got ivy and all sorts of things growing out of it. Anyway, a little bit more written history. What's your thoughts on this place? Do you think it goes underneath? It's got history with Mary Queen of Scots um, being medieval. See there it is there, look, you go down there to go under the castle. That's what a gatehouse is. The gatehouse is obviously all underneath. I never thought about that before. I wondered why the castles look so small. Do you think that's the reason? A lot of this castle is underground. What's your thoughts? Thanks very much for watching. Thank you very much. Lie to me.